Well, howdy, 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 and here your senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this. A, a brand new day. Thumbs up for that. Yay. A very good thing. It is good to metabolize, I feel. We're all going to eventually stop metabolizing. So, enjoy your metabolizing while you can. And as such, just if you enjoy things, enjoy things. Don't let other people tell you not to enjoy things. And if you see other people enjoying things, maybe not in the way that you would, just let them enjoy things. Now, there are some cases you, you probably shouldn't. Like if you see somebody enjoying murdering someone who doesn't want to be murdered, that's bad. Informed consent is important. If you do not have informed consent, uh, don't do it. So, yeah. Thumbs up. Pass that. Hello. <laughs> it's a brand new day, and that's good. Thumbs up for that. I slept ish last night and that's good too it wasn't great it wasn't terrible yeah, yay so at least i'm sleeping moderately sometimes i go through periods i sleep well sometimes i go through periods i don't right now i'm in a period where i don't and i'm also in a minor depression period where i keep cir circling and cycling around with negative thoughts it happens when you're depressed so I'm pretty good, as I've talked about before, at realizing when I'm climbing into the roller coaster, you know, train car, and I'm about to take a ride on the depression thing. So I, usually I can feel myself getting into the car so I can stop and get out. Or if I can feel the ride has already started, I'm able to pull the brakes and get out of the car. Sometimes you can't, and I end up just having to strap in and enjoy the ride but thumbs up still though i mean life is life life is life past that is stated still just existing one thing that i'm gonna have to do i need to make phone calls of late because i have been splitting up things and trying to do the stuff you know i do this i have a game video i do reactions now with all of that, I it's taking up all day. And that wouldn't be an issue, except by the time I'm done, I can't make phone calls. So I'm going to have to slow things down, change things for a couple days until I can get my phone calls done. And then we'll go from there. So thumbs up on that. And then Joy got an email from Google. So now that I'm in charge of my AdSense thing, of course, they said, sent me an email saying, you know, have you abandoned your AdSense? So I've had to restart the whole getting paid from Google thing. There's money there to pay me. And uh, maybe, I mean, who knows what the threshold is? There's a threshold you have to pass before Google will pay you. I try clicking through every link they have in their little AdSense thing about what the threshold is. They don't tell you. But you have to pass, pass the threshold, and then you get paid. So there's some money there. I don't know how long it's been there, but it's waiting. So I gotta, I've restarted the whole AdSense thing, and now I have to wait three to five business days for a small deposit to be made, and then withdrawal to be made so they can verify, they can make payments to me, and then we go from there. And uh, So yay, eventually, hopefully I'll get paid by YouTube. Still, life is life. And then I I went out walkies yesterday, and that's good, and I have determined that now I have some blisters. Uh, I have blister, a blister, anyway, on my left little toe. So, joy. I have insanely delicate skin, so hopefully I'm going to get a callus there. Hopefully, or hopefully my foot will not rub there all the time. Uh, it's rough having delicate skin. Uh, I don't like it. I wish I my skin was tougher, but there you go. Life is life. You deal the hand you're dealt with. You deal the hand you're dealt with. You play the hand you're dealt, says the guy who can't figure out cards. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. Let's see, I do have some things written down on my side list here that I wanted to talk about. 
Oh, yes, this is actually kind of the big one. I don't know what your particular opinions on science are and such like that, but I watch a couple actual real solid science, you know, science video channels by people who are actual, you know, biologists and all this such. And they talk about this, that, and the other, which shows how the alt-right reactionary grifting types are rough because they'll rant in a video and they don't give sources because their audience doesn't fact check or care. They just, they don't think, they react. Their audience is told to be mad, so they get mad. If they give sources, they are usually a 404, or if it leads to something real, usually big letters right there saying, if you read this, do not take it to mean, and then they say specifically what the person that just ranted about it and said it was all about, the actual paper, first page says, do not take it as this sort of thing. It is not this. So when they do that, uh, you can just see that they're using stuff to, that they don't even understand or care about. But again, it doesn't matter because their audience doesn't fact check. They can say whatever they want. Their audience gets mad and comes back. So, on actual science channels by actual science people. These are the sort of things I watch where they've gone to school, they are studying this stuff, they are practicing, they know their stuff. They live it, they breathe it, they can just rattle off stuff that you and I would take years to have to learn. These are the people that I listen to when I, I hear things about this one biologist was talking about how we determine sex in organisms, in mammals. Because you always hear the alt-right saying, follow the science, science says this. Science, no. This biologist was talking about how if you're determining male and female in species, they don't, they don't even really look at chromosomes. They take a look at which part of the species produces gametes. Oh, I got dead skin on my lip here, my apologies. Nah. Uh, uh, that's nice and gross. <laughs> Yum. Got that on a tissue and then we'll throw the tissue away. But they t take a look at which side of the side of the species produces a lot of smaller gametes and which part of the species produces a smaller amount of larger gametes. That is how they determine male and female, except even that is fuzzy because there is a species of fruit fly where it takes three phases and three males, and one of those males, its gametes are large, and there aren't a lot of them. So they don't even look at chromosomes and determining in mammals you know which who is going to have testicles doesn't even come down to x or y chromosomes like in our brains there's like a five point set to determine who gets a set of testicles none of them have to do with the x or y there's one set of just chromosomes and genes that determines you know, that you are going to do, you are going to have them. But there's another set of genes that is done and it turns that on. So this won't turn on until this one turns on. And then there's another one that still has nothing to do with any of this that makes sure this one is or is not working so this works. And if you're of a different thing, it comes in with a whole different set of things to make sure that this process just does not happen and it has nothing to do with the actual chromosomes of X or Y. It is weird and bizarre and science says it is weird and bizarre and sex and gender are two different things. And of course, 
we still, this was discovered decades back, and it is true. There is a male and a female brain. The differences are extremely small. <coughs> Bundles of neurons and nerve fibers, but they are present. You can look at the brain in those specific areas and you can be able to tell. And they have found that biologically sexually male, but identifying as female has a female structured brain. And the opposite is true. Male structured brain and a female body. The science backs up everything that these people are feeling and doing right now. So when the alt-right reactionary grifters say follow the science, you are, you have, and they are not on the side of science. But even as Ben Shabibo, Mr. Facts Don't Care About Your Feelings, has stated on so many times that when it comes to certain subjects he's not going to listen to any what anybody says because his feelings are telling him this is true and if you show him facts well his feelings are telling him that you're wrong so yay but this is not a political thing this is a science thing and that's all I try to stay away from political subjects. I am more leftist now, but there's a lot of people on the left that yeah, the left in the U.S. is really still far right. Everything has been dragged so far to the right. There is no left in the United States. Take a look at other countries where, like France, where when people are not happy, they storm the government headquarters and they'll throw trash cans through their windows. When the people in places like Paris and France, well, Paris in France, you know, but in France are not happy, the country grinds to a halt. That's leftist. Our country? We've got the right that says the marketplace of ideas, let the free market do what, it's want, what it wants, and then when it does, they freak out about it, and that is considered to be normal right hand, and the left is like five steps to the left of that, which is still very far right. Excuse my vocal cords, still very far right. So I try not to talk about these things, but eventually it will because everything is politics. You can't get away from it. Everything is politics. Politics is not just governmental stuff. Politics is how you deal with people in a store. Politics is how you talk to people when you walk on the street. Politics is how you deal with your roommates. Politics is how you deal with people at work. Politics is how you deal with people online. <clears throat> everything is politics. So it's not really something you can avoid, but I try not to get too much into the heavy duty stuff that pisses so many people off. As somehow in the United States, getting vaxxed and wearing a mask has become a political thing. <sighs> but <laughs> Let me take a look on my list and see if there's anything else in here I have and what to do with things. I'll stop with one last thing to talk about on the bone hurting juice world where it's just, it's, well, I got a lot to talk about that and I don't have time. So actually what I'm going to do is just open up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and thank well, I don't have even 25 people that leave comments anymore, but I will thank up to 25 people who have left comments. Thumbs up for that. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count an American sign, American sign language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and all these things. I'm getting better all the time, but one day I will hit a functional limit. We have Mr. Onion. Thumbs up and thank you. Then there is... I do not know how to pronounce that. It looks like I could not tell you. 
Thank you very, very much, though. A Bizarre YouTuber, thumbs up, and thank you very, very much. And then we have Howdy Vegas, greatly appreciated. My cat just jumped in through the window. TJ Simmons, thumbs up and thank you. Joe Mama, thumbs up. Anthony Anzer, greatly appreciated. Darren Brown, thumbs up. In fact, Anthony Anzer uh, left quite a few comments. Thank you. Johnny K, greatly appreciated. We have Jatar, thumbs up. Neon Tyler, greatly appreciated. Matthew Ryder, thumbs up. Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. And that is it. 12 people in the last 24 hours left me comments. Each and every one of you, thumbs up. And those of you that don't leave comments but just watch, thumbs up and thank you all. Is it appreciated? If you could check out my various links down below, I do have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I do have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I have an Amazon wish list link as well with things like cat food. I got cat food on there, I hope. So I need to double check that, don't I? But do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation you get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Thank you very, very much. Yay. <laughs> Well, as stated, I got phone calls I have to make for my health, and I've got to make payments on things, so I've got to make phone calls. So, I can't be using video making as an excuse to not do that. Ugh. But past that, no matter what your political leanings, viruses don't care. So, until this is at least made slightly less dangerous, Please wash your hands, try not to touch your face, wear a mask if you have to go out, maintain your social distancing, get vaxxed if you can, get smart, please, please. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is, well, a very good thing. <laughs>